sounding good all the time. It is yet another segment of the award winning show on the spot. We get to decode the lives of the public figures uh, from our actors, business people, uh, socialites, and so forth. So, uh, yesterday I hosted businessman and Pastor Sheki Timburua. You can check out the interview on our Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel at DJ Ola7 uh, in case you missed it. So, today I'm hosting a renowned gospel musician uh, who has been in the music space for over two decades now and uh, you know Pisa Street he has worked with the other musicians in Zimbabwe and Africa he has told all over the world ministering uh, the uh, through his music you know uh, he, powerful music by the way but music so so of late he has been uh, working on his weight loss uh, journey and I must say I'm loving the results you know I'm hey yeah 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 I mean ah, and I didn't want to so the journey each time he posts I'm like wow Wow. So tonight we get to know him, you know, and understand him better uh, as he takes us through uh, through his uh, his journey in life. It is the uh, the one and only gospel musician, Pastor Stanley Guanzura. His song, Indestructible, was the first ever song to be played on Star FM, Pataka Vura Station. You know, that was on 25 June 2012, uh, 12 noon, just 12 noon. It's very so whatever the blessings that you think Stephen has, ah, we owe it to Pastor G. <laughs> <laughs> so I belong on Stephen. Yes, you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. how are you, Pastor G? How are you doing, Owen? I'm, the, I'm the, doing great. The air marshal. <laughs> and the air marshal. Yes, it is. I'm, 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 I'm good. Uh, my Ola papa. Seven. Yes, it is an honor, you know, to yeah, yeah. to host you on well, this show. It's an honor to be on the spot. Um, <laughs> On Star FM, uh -huh. uh, you know, and so um, I'm pretty excited to be here. Mm -hmm. uh, probably the best radio station uh, in Zimbabwe right now. Wow. You know, um, yeah, so I, 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 I'm here. And, yes. Uh, and I'm happy to be here and to be able to to be on this show. Nice yeah. one. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Pastor G. That's Pastor G. So just to remind our listeners, we are live on Facebook right now. Uh, you can check us out on Star FM Facebook page as well as my page as well, DJ Ola 7 Star FM. And also Pastor G's page as well. You, you can check us out. We are live. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, Pastor G, how did that make you feel? You know, knowing your song was the first ever to be played on Star FM. Y you know what? I was actually on tour in the U.S. Mm. And um, I don't know which, I was in Washington, D.C. Yeah, yeah. So one of my backing vocalists mm -hmm. sent me a message. I did, ah, PG, your song is being played on the new radio station, Star FM, as the first song right now. Wow. As we speak. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, so, you know, um, you know, I found it to be, I was so elated. Mm -hmm, and when mm -hmm. I got back, I know I came for interviews here on Star FM. Yes. You know, um... Uh, then uh, you know the rest. The, the rest is history. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've always been a uh, marquee feature on Star FM. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, coming in for whenever the birthday comes, I'm normally called. Yeah, you know. Yeah, but I, you, you, I you pray and hope I'll be given a phone call to <laughs> come and work here <laughs> <laughs> because you're family, Pastor. You're family. <laughs> so what have you been up to, uh, Pastor G? Well, I've been up to a lot of things. Um, uh, on last seven. Uh -huh. um, you know, one of the things that I do is I do, I, 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 I produce adverts, mm -hmm. advertising jingles. You know, there's a jingle that came out for a very famous flower. Mm -hmm. I produced that. I actually sang the song and oh. there's a video for it. Nice. You know, um, mm -hmm. then, uh, you know, so that's one of the things I've been doing. But also I do music, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. which is really my main my main work yeah. uh, apart from the media work. Mm -hmm. um, then I'm also, you know, right now I've embarked on a wellness journey. Mm -hmm. You know, which started on the 14th of March, wow. 2022. That's last year? That's last year. Yeah. Almost a year now. It's almost a year yeah. now. I was on 193 kgs when I started. Jeez. Uh, I think my heaviest weight was 19, 2018. Uh-huh. When I just uh, when I was in Australia, mm -hmm. I toured Australia for about a month, but I think I was about two hundred and three, two hundred and five. Two hundred and five kgs. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 You know. Yeah. You know. Um, you know. Then I think during COVID, I lost a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, that's when I started thinking about my, yeah. my weight loss journey. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things I'm doing, in back on a wellness journey. But also, fourth thing that I do is that I'm a speaker. Mm -hmm. I speak to young people about life mm -hmm. about god you know um but also speak to 
to musicians mm -hmm. about uh, navigating the music industry, mm -hmm. but I also speak to worship leaders. Yeah. People who lead worship in churches. Mm, mm, uh, mm. I'm involved in the church that I go to in the men's ministry and also in the worship ministry. Mm -hmm. And I also speak to the young people there now and then. Yeah. Oh, that's powerful. So, and uh, you talked about uh, your wellness journey. What pushed you uh, to start working on your weight? Oh, I think the number of reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, I just decided that I no longer could. Um, you know, depend on others mm -hmm. for my well-being, mm, you know, mm, my mm. sense of worth and my sense of, um, you know, sanity. Mm -hmm. I needed to to actually take responsibility yeah. for my health, mm, mm, you know, mm, uh, mm. you know, and so I took the step to begin working on that journey, mm -hmm. especially I think in the, the year 2020, mm -hmm. when my father died of heart failure after oh, a stroke. So sad. I decided to take my health more seriously. Mm -hmm. And it's that year I started walking. I would walk maybe one or two, two kilometers yes. Yes. in yes. my hood. You know, I started watching a little bit more of what I eat. You know, I lost a little bit, you know, then 2021 again, you know, it wasn't really so serious. Mm -hmm. But I think March 2022, I decided in January of 2022, when January 2022 started in mm. January last year, that mm. this is the year that I'm going to lose yeah, weight. weight. Wow. That's when uh, th this is the year that I became become as light as the air marshal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember. <laughs> I said, 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 I uh, I st I've, I've struggled over the years with uh, high blood pressure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, thank God I, I didn't become diabetic yeah. or have kidney failure. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, one of the, my major drawbacks, I, my blood pressure used to be 149 mm. over uh, 95, Jeez. 99. Yeah, that's it true. Would, it would play between 142 to 149, mm, mm, you know, mm. over 95, over 100 sometimes. Yeah. So I, I needed to lose weight. Mm -hmm. And right now my blood pressure is about 128 over 72. Interesting. Almost normal. Hey. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so it, it, it vacillates between 80, mm -hmm. it vacillates between 136 over 85 mm -hmm. to about 128 over 75. Almost normal. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, you know, how has been the journey so far? The journey has been fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's been fantastic. Uh, it's a lot of work, you know. I had to, I had to have what what is called a mindset shift. Mm, mm. I had to change my mind, the way I think, mm. you know, because much of the things that we conquer, we start by conquering them in our mind. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. You know, every even the chair that you are sitting on, mm -hmm. someone had to conceive it in their mind. Yeah. The whole concept of a chair, mm -hmm. the whole concept of a computer, the mm -hmm. whole concept of a phone. Yeah. The whole concept of anything, before anything is, somebody has to dream it, mm. believe it, that it can be, mm. you know. And so I, I went through a mental mindset shift, you know. I had to get the right information. Mm -hmm. I, I had to deal with um, my own emotional, mental, mm. and spiritual mm -hmm. capacity, yeah. you know, to handle pressure, to mm. handle life, you know. Um, you know, and when when I started dealing with those things, my men, my the right information, mm -hmm. uh, because sometimes, you know, you can. In fact, the reality in life, you can only ascend in life or grow to the level of the information that you know mm -hmm. and apply. Yeah, yeah. and and uh, you know, yeah. I, I, I'm quite impressed, uh, Pastor G, because I can see the results. Initially, just my 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 taura, my way almost two two hundred something. You know, uh, look at me. I'm just like. <laughs> 40, I mean, 60 kgs. <laughs> I know I'm not aiming to get to 60. <laughs> no, 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 but I'm just saying. <laughs> no, now that you're saying 200 something, I'm like, what? So, yeah. uh, what kgs are you? I, I lost you. I lost about you know, 60, 60 kgs. kgs. So, you lost me. <laughs> I <laughs> lost you. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> so, this guy actually uh, is funny. Pastor G is just funny. <laughs> so, you got to love him. So, what kgs are you weighing now, uh, Pastor G? Now, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm about 134, 133. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've decided not to weigh myself till August. Oh, 
of this okay year. so you want to see the progress I, 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 I just want to put in the work uh -huh. then weigh myself in August my yeah. goal my goal is for November mm -hmm. 16 which is my birthday okay uh, that's when I want to be when 16 November 16 November okay fine I'll be 53 Oh. So that's when I'll, 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 I will not end my journey, but mm -hmm. at least set that as my my my, my one of the uh, one of the targets uh, targets and mm -hmm. goals, mm -hmm. you know, landmarks. Wow, you know, for my journey. So then I should be by 100 kgs. So if you're I, aiming hundreds. And I'm aiming for 100. Mm. So I need to lose about 34 kgs, 30, 33 kgs. Very much possible because I look at uh, from 2022 uh, March uh, to March 20. Uh, 23 you've lost six or something kgs yep. so it's very much possible to lose 30 uh kgs so we grew up watching uh and listening to your music pastor g uh but mm. we want to know how it all started and uh, who pastor g really is you know magakura mm kubi -hmm. uh, during the liberation struggle my parents uh, uh, uh went to zambia mm -hmm. Uh, my father initially, then my mom followed later in mm -hmm. 1962. Okay. Um, so I was born in Zambia in 1970. Uh, I grew up in a suburb called Livala. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Livala. I grew up in first in Kawata, and uh, Temba Mliswa we used to stay in the same road. Oh. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah. Interesting. Temba used to be down the road. A mm -hmm. lot of Zanu PF. Zapu Kadas. Mm -hmm. Yes. Where Temba's dad was a Zanu, P uh -huh. Zapu PF uh, yes. uh, Kada. Mm -hmm. You know, they were all in that street, mm -hmm. in, in, in various, uh, some in Chilenja South, mm -hmm. you know, and some in, in d different places. So my parents went to uh, to Zambia during the war. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's where I was born in 1970. Then I grew up there, going to a school called uh, um, Lusaka Boys mm -hmm. uh, Primary School. I did uh, grade one up to five there. Then mm -hmm. 1980, when Zimbabwe got independence, yeah, uh, gained independence. Mm -hmm. Happy Independence Day! Happy birthday, Zimbabwe! Forty yeah. third birthday. Mm -hmm. You know, um, my parents came back. Uh, so 81, I, I started my primary, my my prime, I finished my primary, started finishing my primary school at Hague Park Primary mm -hmm. School in Melbourne mm -hmm. uh, up to grade seven. Then uh, uh, lower six, uh, I mean form one to upper six. Mm -hmm. I was at Ellis Robbins High. Yeah, um, so I grew up basically in in Meboren mm -hmm. uh, and in uh, Kawata mm -hmm. and Rivala Zambia. In Zambia. Nice. Uh, that's where my ghetto experience mm -hmm. was. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, yeah. So I would like to believe that uh, you were raised in a Christian family. Is that correct? Yes, I was raised and, in a Christian uh, family. And how was your upbringing, you know, Pastor G? In terms of, mm. my, both my parents were Christians mm -hmm. and uh, they took us to church. And as a result, you know, um, I remember, but I had to make a personal re a decision to mm. follow Jesus Christ. Yeah as my personal Lord and Savior in Form 1 of 1984, mm -hmm. March 1984, yes. Uh, so, but at the home environment gave us a lot of Christian background. Mm -hmm. I remember I used to walk into my parents' bedroom because my uniform, Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, my wardrobe, I didn't get a bedroom. Yeah, yeah, I didn't get a bedroom. So, uniforms, I got a bedroom. So, early morning, I was five, five, I was going to go to school, I was going to go to school, I was going to go to school, I was going to go to school. If, if you hadn't collected it the night mm -hmm. before yeah so so uh I, a lot of times i'd get into their bedroom and they're mm -hmm. on their knees praying yeah oh at five o'clock yeah. yeah yeah you yeah. know so so i grew up in a christian environment mm -hmm. yeah and uh, i came across the uh, information that uh, say you actually studied uh, uh theology in the 90s uh, how far true is that that's very true 1992 to 1995 mm -hmm. Uh, I I was at the th enrolled at the Theological College of Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. where I trained uh, to become a pastor, mm -hmm. and um, I subsequently became a youth pastor mm -hmm. at a Baptist church called Calvary Baptist Church. Wow! From '95 to to uh, the year 1998, mm -hmm. I was the youth pastor. Then mm -hmm. from about '99 to about 2002, mm -hmm. I was the pastor. Nice. Yeah. And uh, have you always wanted to be, you know, a pastor growing up? Not necessarily, because I remember in from lower six I want, and upper six, I wanted to be a lawyer. Mm. <laughs> okay. That's what I wanted to be. Now and then, what happened? Then uh, my points are now Kwana. Okay. 
you know, uh, when I finished upper six, so mm -hmm. then I went and worked as a training manager mm -hmm. at a technical engineering firm called Field Technical Cells. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, they had field mowers just down the road from here, mm -hmm. just b just before Matlock. They used to be Van Heusen, mm -hmm. Emma Shirts. So I was right next to Van Heusen. So I worked there as a training manager. It was part of the hunting group. Mm. Uh, I worked there for about three years, mm -hmm. you know, uh, three, four years. Then I just felt the call to to go into the ministry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, around 1991. Wow. So 1992, I enrolled in Bible school through mm -hmm. the Baptist Union of Zimbabwe. I enrolled in what is called the, the Theological College of Zimbabwe. But I, I, in 96, I, Lobengula Street, if you've ever been in Blue Air. Yeah. Uh, yeah, where they used to keep Erenkini, just mm -hmm. behind Erenkini. Erenkini, yeah. Rink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, Mujikura Baba Pastor G, you know, was there something in you, uh, something you did, uh, I mean, that showed that uh, one day uh, you would minister, you know, to the world? I think much of it was in our youth group. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, I used to be the president at one time of the uh, overall Zimbabwe Association of Baptist Youth. Mm hmm you know and i used to preach a lot in in the youth uh, i used to sing music early years around 91 mm -hmm. i started singing you music using backtracks mm -hmm. by bb winans cc winans mm -hmm. mm -hmm. andre crouch you know uh, people like that and i would sing their song yeah you know when in case i'm a lead vocal uh -huh. so i would use that so i started singing pretty much around that time mm -hmm. but in this in, in in high school i used to sing in the choir mm -hmm. and i remember in upper six I actually won colors mm -hmm. that took a white blazer yeah yeah uh -huh. yes wow that's powerful so uh, yeah. like you said you served as a youth uh pastor at calvary baptist church for 12 years well for for uh, uh, calvary baptist was main it was from 95 uh -huh to about 99 as the youth oh, pastor. Oh, know? yes. But uh, then you decided to, to, to resign. Is that correct? 2002. 2002. I mean, why did you resign, Pastor? Why, why did I resign? I resigned because I felt I needed to pursue my passion. Mm -hmm. My passion was more towards music. Mm -hmm. My passion was more towards uh, media. Mm -hmm. I, I remember then I was presenting on the then Radio 3. Mm -hmm. I was a radio... Uh, I, was a, I was a DJ on the Sunday evening. Oh, yeah. Program Beat with a Message mm -hmm. with Uncle Pash. Yeah. Then it migrated to become... Um, inspir it, be it became what? It became uh, Inspiration. No, it had another name. Mm. No, it became... It main maintained the Beat with a Message mm -hmm. up to about 2004 when Power FM moved to Gueru. To Gueru, yeah. Yeah. Then I, uh, then I took a hiatus from radio. Mm -hmm. I came back uh, 2006. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was back presenting on radio 2006, 2007. Wow. It was called... We now named it Inspirations, mm -hmm. the same show. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I took another hiatus for another two years. Came back 2013, 2014. Mm. Uh, did it as gospel lounge gospel lounge yeah, yeah yeah so it became it was really for me it was um i was passionate about the media mm -hmm. i was passionate about music mm -hmm. so that's really where my heart was more inclined nice and uh you know what was the i mean, I mean your highlight what uh, what was your um your highlight uh, even now what is your highlight in those years uh, that you were a, a youth pastor you know uh, what did you enjoy the most Working with young people, uh, being able to also um, shape their values, shape their minds, shape their thinking, uh, being able to help them uh, become spiritually rooted. Mm -hmm. That was really, really my heart's desire, and those were the things that I enjoyed. Mm -hmm. And I enjoyed especially the creative side. Mm -hmm you know, um, of, of fostering young people and helping young people. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, you released your first uh, solo album uh, back in uh, 2000, uh, titled Tariro. Yes. Uh, I know making music, you know, back then was different as compared to this era. Uh, how was the making of Tariro? The making of Tariro was concurrent with the making of, um, well, we had just done the Tidings of Love album, mm -hmm. which was 1999, mm -hmm. which we did with Wolfman the late fortune parrots oh yeah 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 and and tidings of love album had the song diana charter so then after that mm -hmm. I, I felt the music but i had songs a lot of songs that mm -hmm. had come in my mm -hmm. in my, my heart, heart. Which, which i could not channel to the tidings of love group, mm. you know and i decided to record my own album mm -hmm. 
first album, Mind's Tariro, mm -hmm. you know, and it, that album mirrored a lot of, um, you know, uh, things that I was, you know, uh, looking at. A lot of things were beginning to change mm -hmm. uh, nationally. A lot of things were beginning to change, you know, even in my own life. I had a lot of uh, things that I was going through mm -hmm. personally, and I started writing songs, mm -hmm. a lot of songs that mirrored that. Oh, wow. Uh, I remember uh, some other time back then, uh, I, I saw a CD. I think a, sl a sleeve, you know, my CD is a extra sleeve uh, back then. You got your picture and uh, RK, I mean... That was Tidings of Love. Now, that, that album, those were to the... That was the album Vangeri. Vangeri. Vangeri was... We released Vangeri in the year 2001. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember that. I think it was uh, March 2001. Mm -hmm. RK, I'd recruited RK mid-2000 mm -hmm. into Tidings of Love. Wow. Because a lot of the members of Tidings of Love, because of the diaspora pool, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. had mm -hmm. left to go to, to the UK. Ah, uh, yes. Some, one had gone to Japan. Mm -hmm. Two had gone to the UK. So... We needed to replenish our... R.K. is a gifted uh, songwriter, number mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. That's what people don't know. R.K. is a gifted uh, pianist. Mm -hmm. You know, wow. I, th I think it's actually... I think it should be grade five or grade 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 six by piano. In Zimbabwe? Uh, in Zimbabwe. Uh, any, any qualification? Oh, for, yeah. Oh, nice. RK, I didn't know that. Yeah, R people don't, don't know R.K. Mm -hmm. R.K. is a gifted uh, pianist. Mm -hmm. And RK is a gifted vocalist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so, yeah, Pastor G, I know some draw, okay. But anyway, was it the the title album that put you on the map in the music space? Well, the album that really put me on the map was the Reflections of a Street Preacher. Mm -hmm. In fact, the Vangeri album, then there's the album that we did, Tidings of Love, and Ngo Maerira. Mm -hmm. I remember the guys from Tidings of Love hated this. Wow. Because people would say, the DJs would say, mm -hmm. Pastor G and Tidings of Love. Because mm -hmm. then I'd become Pastor G because of my radio show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so they would, they, would, they, would, they would really, really get mad. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, I'm going to Pastor G and Tidings of <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, you know, um, the album that put us on the map, first with two tidings of love was mm -hmm. Vangeri, and uh, then the album which had Ngomayo Rira. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, the main album, which was my, oh, some people call this my opus, mm -hmm. is Reflections of a Street Preacher, which had songs like Walk Alone, Count mm -hmm. Your Blessings, mm -hmm. Chivi Liga, yeah, Chibi Liga, that's my, uh, my favorite, that one. Yeah, that's yeah. my favorite. Yeah, all those, yeah. all those songs, you know. Uh, that was the album that really put Pastor G on the map. And mm -hmm. then I was acting in the uh, in the series 263. Oh, Studio. studio. Yes. <laughs> so so I, pe I performed Chibi Liga live mm -hmm. on studio. I remember I'd come as a guest musician. Yeah. I wasn't even acting in the show then. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can remember clearly... I was wearing a brown leather jacket, <laughs> ne, a tan polo neck, yes. you know, and some blue jeans. Uh -huh. And I didn't have a bingo. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, I, I, we have known you from a bingo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, so, you know, I remember I did the performance at a party mm -hmm. in, the, in the show where everyone, my jari and mm -hmm. friend was yes. there yes. and they were partying. Mm -hmm. And it put, that put the song on the map. Wow. It went to be number one on the then Power FM, uh, 3FM, mm -hmm. Hitsville. Wow. It was number one for three weeks. Yo. Yeah. Yeah, that was huge. Uh, but uh, your love for music uh, came, you know, accompanied with um, uh, with fame. Uh, were you ready for it? I think, you know, I was grounded. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the, the fact that I'd been a pastor mm. and also I had a certain level of spiritual maturity, uh, it kind of like gave me a certain level of grounding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and I think early on, I met Oliver Mtukudzi, I think 2004. Mm -hmm. And he said these words to me. He said, you know, young men, you know, uh, fame easily comes, mm -hmm. fame easily goes. Mm -hmm. But always remember, when you do the music, you do it for the people. Yeah. And to the people, always, itachi tuta. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Respect everyone. Mm -hmm. Don't be a diva. Yeah, that's powerful. And did that affect you in any way, you know? It helped me navigate the, the various nuances mm -hmm. of, uh, of of relating with the public. Mm -hmm. 
relating of course now and then ningo but when rodrige wa cut when mshika shika mazwacho asiana ga pane mshika shika but was there a point in your life about the g where you imagined uh, yourself you know um that uh, you would be recognized as one of the biggest artists uh, to ever come out of uh, zimbabwe i never imagined that they i never would when i started I never i never really started out looking for mm. that mm. Mm. I was just doing the music number one I wanted to do music that would touch young mm-hmm, people mm-hmm. so that's why they don't want to pass the gym salad <laughs> yes because <laughs> man I don't feel like doing this thing all alone <laughs> step aside want you to drop those beats right you now. know you know my first days I thought that. maybe you're an American yeah <laughs> so so <laughs> when I go to RP gym salad <laughs> she we were doing songs like when I you know uh, you know you know when I, when I, I worship you mm-hmm. All those songs I mean people thought ah, I'm, I'm, I'm I count your blessings uh-huh. <laughs> come on name them one by ah, masala <laughs> in fact in fact the DJs would call me the Cake Franklin of Zimbabwe oh yeah. <laughs> you know and um, you know but I never so w- because I was doing music that was different mm-hmm. from everyone that put me in a niche yeah, and yeah. immediately gave me a platform mm, I see you and know because yeah. I was different yeah even now doing, yeah yeah I was different from everybody else. Everyone else who came, whether they like it or not, did you baba chao? Did you baba wing you? Did you baba wing you? Pastor you've got a powerful <laughs> voice. I mean, uh, have we ever received uh, uh, um, any testimonies uh, from your your fans? Uh, maybe a lot of testimonies. I remember there's one year because my music is played in in Kenya mm-hmm. in, and in and in um, in Zambia. Zambia mm-hmm. Zambia has got a Christian radio station. Christian uh, voice radio mm-hmm. and I remember going there 2008 for a t- concert mm-hmm. and another friend of mine by name is Ambien called Daniel Mutales calls me says listen I want you to talk to this guy then he says to me hey Pastor G Mulishan mm. Wamdala <laughs> you know you know in Bemba yeah. because I was born in Zambia so yeah. I know mm. then he says to me you know that's that cast song of yours uh, that cast song uh, better man <laughs> Peter man, ah, he wah, ni kalija, you know, meaning with yagaipa, you know. So that song, Vela, mm-hmm. you know, it helped me, it helped me uh, stop humanizing mm-hmm. because you are talking about, you are talking about being a better man. Yes, yes, yes. You know. So, so those are some of the testimonies. Mm-hmm, a mm-hmm. lot of other testimonies, you know, when you listen to songs like the hymn medley mm-hmm. from. Yeah. Uh, from indestructible mm-hmm. people say that song has helped them worship god mm-hmm. better mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. uh you know people listen to my mm-hmm. you know uh which was number one for some time at yeah. some point mm-hmm. on on the star fm gospel grace sure. in the year 2020 mm-hmm. 20 yeah beginning of 2020 um you know they would say listen that song just has an atmosphere mm. you know right now we've celebrated the independence of zimbabwe Ishe mm-hmm. so those are the testimonies like my new song mm-hmm. Ma- Marima Kanaka. Yeah, yeah right now a lot of people say that's a good song mm. of praise mm. it remain, reminds us to celebrate god even in the midst yeah, yeah. Of, of trial and tribulation so initially you were uh, you referred to as uh, pastor stan but let her change it to Pastor G. You know, tell us about that. The transition. Well, the Pastor G was, I was co- that name was coined by Noah Pashapa. Okay. Reverend Noah Pashapa, yes. Uncle Pash, uh-huh. then on uh, the, the uh, when we were doing the show together, Be With The Message. Oh, uh, yes. He was the main presenter. I was his sidekick. Oh, yeah. And his, then he said, ah, uh, you know, we'll, you know, we won't call you Pastor Gangster. <laughs> you know, because my youth, young people used to call me Pastor Gangster. <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah. You know, and so... So he says, "Now, nah, won't I? Uh, no, won't call you. Pa- we'll just call you Pastor G. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Pastor that's G. Pastor G. Uh-huh. I know how Noah speaks. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's how then I got that name. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you have over ten albums. Uh, no, actually, we are, we move on to thirteen albums. Thirteen albums, are yeah, Thirteen albums, strong right now. Yeah. And uh, one of uh, of your projects, um, uh, you did uh, with uh, Chiedza Mari uh, Makanaka." Uh, Chesa Chisi. Chesa Chisi. Yes, it's been on the Gospel Grace as well. You uh, can fire uh, for quite some time now. Uh, what is the secret uh, to stay relevant in a, uh, in, in a space that has um, new talent, you know, emerging every day, but is still, you know, relevant? You know, uh, one of the things, uh, you know, um, that is that 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 that, that has always to, to stay relevant is to be able to be exposed to mm-hmm. different creative forces. Mm-hmm. 
d- different genres. I listen to a lot of music. Mm-hmm. I listen to ama piano. I listen to hip hop. Mm-hmm. I listen to I listen to Afro Afro pop. You know, one of my favorite groups is Jazz Your Brothers. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, South African guys. You know, uh, I listen to a whole lot of music. Mm-hmm. You know, but also one of the things that is important is to pray. Yeah, yeah. Be yeah. prayerful. Be prayerful. Be prayerful, but also exercise. Mm-hmm. And a shout out to my trainer, Tinashe, the fitness trainer. Yes, yes. You know, who's my trainer. He's doing but a good job. Yeah, Tinashe is really fantastic. Nice one. Uh, and Invictus, Jimanon Baxira. So, you know, to train. <laughs> yeah. So it makes my mind clear. Mm-hmm. So when I'm writing songs, like Marima Kanaka, I wrote mm-hmm. right in the middle of my fitness mm-hmm. journey mm-hmm. in November of 2022. Wow. So it came in a mind. You know when you can I which exercise? Mm-hmm. Every time we bring your kavurika, so I started writing that song. That song. That song. Then a friend of mine, Wayne Beats mm-hmm. Malumo. Uh, Wayne Beats uh, is one of the new rising producers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, we wrote the song together, we finished it together, and yeah. So uh, we've got uh, ten minutes to go now, and uh, I still want to hear uh, more from you, Pastor G. I don't know how we are going to do this. Uh, no, it's all right. Let's try and navigate, but maybe <laughs> I don't know. But uh, you're one of the best song writers. Mm. Uh, where do you get your inspiration from? My inspiration, uh, life experience, mm-hmm. number one. You know, there is no way you can remove your songwriting from your life experience. Mm-hmm. What you're going through in life, in life. Then also my relationship, Namari. Mm-hmm. Uh, I spend time in prayer, in the word, listening to worship music, worshiping God. Mm-hmm. And out of the overflow of my relationship, Namari comes the song. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, some other songs I write with other people. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, one of my favorite people to write with is McDonald Shidawa and Z, mm-hmm. you know, uh, McD. I also write with people like uh, David Sengwayo. Mm-hmm. Uh, I write with uh, different people. Another friend of mine, Wayne Mklanga, who's mm-hmm. based in mm-hmm. Namibia, mm-hmm. helped me write the song Zitara Jesu, mm-hmm. you know, um, you know, and several other songs of mine. Uh, you know, so yeah, you know, uh, Comfort Manyame mm-hmm. out yeah. there in the US. Mm-hmm. You know, we write together. So th- all those guys really inspire me. I'm inspired by other musicians who mm-hmm. write great songs like Michael Mayendere. Yeah, he does. You know, I love Mike. Mm. Mike, Mike is such a genuine article mm-hmm. take sure is 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 just a worshiper mm. you know uh everton mlala is one of my favorite uh artists mm-hmm. current favorite artists yeah um, he's doing very well you know um janet manyoa who's my current favorite favorite artist. <laughs> well his current favorite his current favorite favorite okay but anyways yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's leave it there yeah so then tembalami as well uh-huh. you know people like that also just push me on and inspire me mm-hmm. To put my to take my music to the next level. So twenty years that you've been doing uh, uh, music, what is the greatest uh, lesson you've learned? The greatest lesson I've learned is that live life in the light of eternity. Mm-hmm. This world shall pass away. Mm-hmm. You know, no matter how much money you have, no matter how much bling you think you have, no matter how many cars you park in the garage, or how many houses are in your name. Mm-hmm. You want to take them with you. Mm-hmm. So the greatest lesson I've learned about life is that live life with the fact that you're going to face your maker one mm-hmm. day. Mm-hmm. And uh, looking back, do you have any regrets? Regrets. <sighs> Listen, I've learned that thank God for everything, even mm-hmm. the bad times. Mm-hmm. You know, the thing, or the things I would have done better, yes. I would have done better in the area of uh, better financial security, mm-hmm. building systems, you know, at an early age, that ensure that you are wealthy. Mm-hmm. You know, and uh, I've got to achieve a certain level of of, of financial autonomy. Mm-hmm. You know, things like that, and I'm still working on that. You know, that's a life. L- those are lifelong. Mm-hmm. You know, goals really. At the end of the day, you know. Um, but re- regrets. I thank God for everything. Yeah, good and bad. Um, you know what, uh, Pastor G. You have worked with uh, quite a number of uh, musicians, uh, big names, even uh, and has shared, I mean, stages with uh, Joy Celebration, Benjamin Dube, Israel Houghton, and uh, Janet Manyoraja Tarnizawao, and uh, Timbalami, just to mention a few. You know, I am loving the project uh, you did with uh, Body the Shell. Um, Magnify. Yes, you know, how was it working with, uh, with the mentioned artist? I think uh, Pastor Bonnie Duchel captures 
the heart of contemporary worship music in Zimbabwe mm -hmm. because I think she's one of the major, major pioneers mm -hmm. of that. If you remember very well in the late 90s with this, uh, and into the 2000s, mm -hmm. the celebration series of music, yeah. know, of albums mm. with Wanatambira and all those songs. Mm -hmm. But she did a song that she wrote for Ron Kennolly, signed mm -hmm. by Ron Kennolly, called Abow My Knee Before Your Throne I know my life is not my own. I mm. pledge allegiance to the king to give you glory, Lord. So imagine if someone can write for mm. that mm. level mm. of mm. artist. Mm. Mm. Who am I to pass up such an opportunity wow. to work with such a great anointing? Mm. So for me, you know, just to be able to, the camaraderie with Nigel Nangombe, who was mm -hmm. the producer. Yeah. You know, with the likes of, um, you know, Janet Manyo, my mm -hmm. good friend, Tembalami, my good friend, you know, just being in the mix, even with uh, Pastor Bonnie, her daughter, mm -hmm. and the sons working on the project was such a beautiful experience. And, uh, you know, Mama Street Sumo Pastor G, mm -hmm. uh, are you with that? Uh, you're, you're, you're called, uh, they call you the Urban Preacher. The street preacher. The street preacher. Uh, pre uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am the street preacher. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm the street preacher. I, I was going to do a swag, guys. It was going to go to the beaver. I'm going to go to the beaver. No, no, no. I'm going to go to the beaver. If you grew up in, in, the, in the late yeah. 90s into the 2000s, <laughs> by, by, there used to be a place called Zimex Mo. Zimex Mo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, before I said Ibiza. In the one that my street said you are. <laughs> Pastor G on the spot. So looking at the music uh, space, uh, from the time you started yeah. uh, to date, uh, what has changed? I think uh, there, there's been a lot of positive changes, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, and uh, the positive change is that music, the digital revolution, mm -hmm. the convergence of the, the digital convergence, rather, mm -hmm. where content is consumed on the digital handheld device. Yeah makes it easier for us to market to distribute mm -hmm. and actually consume content mm -hmm. uh, you no longer need a record label mm -hmm. like we used to i know in the states they still have record labels but the record labels now serve as um, the the big because the re music industry in the u.s and music industry in africa are two different yeah labels. yeah so you do need record labels but but you no longer you can actually release a song today was mm -hmm. and shoot a video audio you can put it on YouTube mm -hmm. put it on uh, on 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 uh, on, on Spotify uh, on Spotify yeah you know mm -hmm. on the on the music aggregators like mm -hmm. cdbaby.com distrokid mm -hmm. and immediately it gets to for consumption mm -hmm. you just market it on your social media yeah, pages yeah yeah then you also send it by email to H1 mm -hmm. Uh, he, music uh, yeah yeah <laughs> with, with your with your epk and already mm -hmm. the next day it's playing on on radio, on radio. Yeah. yeah so that's how i love that digital revolution mm -hmm. i shudder to think what artificial intelligence has in store for us mm. in the future because a i might actually take take my voice mm -hmm. sing the whole song <laughs> take elements from other actually do the bvs mm -hmm. and just yeah. Present the song. And uh, what advice uh, do you have or do you wish to give a gospel musician who is still upcoming? Four things that a young gospel musician needs to build on. Mm -hmm. Number one, mm -hmm. sense of calling. Do it because God has called you, not because you've got a good voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Do it because mm -hmm. an assignment. Mm -hmm. That will navigate you through the difficult times, whether you're making money or you're not making money. Yeah. Number two, character. Character is who you are when no one else is looking. Yeah? So, Chakutanga, fear God, Panya is a character. Mm -hmm. Even if we take you away from where you are, where there are other people who are watching you, we take you away, the people are not, we want to know, we want to hear news that we're meeting someone. Mm -hmm. So, character is important. Number and also remember, your BVs are not your girlfriends. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. as a as a BV. Number three, build um, number three is consistency. Be consistent. Mm -hmm. 
And part of the hallmarks of consistency is have a vision. What is a vision? A clear mental picture of a preferred future. Mm. Yeah. What are you looking at? Every time I do an album, I can see it before it is. Yeah. Every time I write a song, I hear it before it is. Mm. You know, and, and so when I conceptualize, right now I'm dreaming about doing a hymns album this year. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. an album full of hymns by the yeah. end of the year. Yeah. You know, I'm seeing it before it is. Mm -hmm. You know, so have a vision, have a strategy. That's part of consistency. Mm. But number four, um, creativity. Be creative. Mm -hmm. Don't be a photocopy of Pastor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be a photocopy of Matthias Smith. Mm -hmm. Don't be a comp photocopy of of Texture. Don't be a cop photocopy of Janet Manuel. Mm -hmm. Be you. Learn to be creative. But I'm going to get that. We go. We are going to be something that's not right. As it is. As it was right. Yeah. Why? Why are people like Janet? Everton trending because Everton is himself. Yeah. That's his voice. Yeah. That's yeah. Uh, that thick baritone mm -hmm. is is so it cuts through that, mm -hmm. and the style is his. When you hear I surrender, when you hear Makafanira from Janet Manoa, Makafanira mm -hmm. it's different. Yeah. Even when you hear even Wauze, Wauze, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, or when you hear Victory from Tembalan, yeah, yeah, Victory, yeah, that's my favorite with Natio. Mm -hmm. You know, it's different. Saka Siana, Saka, you when you listen to Wenyasha Chingono, Wenyasha is one of my favorite artists, nice, different, Katrad, mm -hmm. yeah, it's very unique, so yeah. Yeah. yeah, so when you listen to Comfort Manyami, is in only, is only mm -hmm. when you listen to. Kanamuchi Komborera Vamunu Vaditanga in him. Yeah, that's Michael there. Mm -hmm. That's his style. Yeah, yeah. Itayako. Mm -hmm. Then you get to listen to my young people when I unveiled. Mm -hmm. Wakara Wakaranga was in Baba Rova and Weber. Bafana Waka Waka Penga. They were not Joshim Tima and those top of the game. Yeah, I would go to top of their game. Yeah. So, so, so just be creative. Mm -hmm. Then I'll add the fifth one capacity. Mm -hmm. Build capacity. What do I mean, build capacity? Build spiritual capacity. Mm -hmm. Be someone who's deep in the word of God. Yeah. Who's deep in your relationship with God. Number mm -hmm. two, build financial capacity. Mm -hmm. Can I only my hustles and one of one city just music do mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. do get get a degree get a get a qualification mm -hmm. get a job music is much nicer on a big yeah 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 it's been good uh <laughs> hanging out with you uh pastor G. your yeah. parting remarks my parting remarks is just listen People believe that it can't be done till it's done. Mm -hmm. That's that's my motto these days. Wow. And my other motto is that lead the way, show the way, be the way. Wow. Don't don't be somebody who's willing to be just swallowed up by mm -hmm. what's going on. Mm -hmm. Be someone who's willing to lead the way, show the way. Yeah. And that's what I'm doing with my weight list. I'm leading the way, showing mm -hmm. the way, inspiring a whole generation. Yes. Yes. Inspiring yes. a whole nation to mm -hmm. wellness, but also. Uh, just believe that people won't believe that it can be done till it's done. Mm -hmm. Look at Tech Shua with all the uh, crusades that are doing all over the country. Mm -hmm. Thousands and thousands of people coming to, to know the Lord. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's very It powerful. can be done. Mm. If you believe in God, you trust God, God will give you the strength and the capacity. I'm so it. inspired. I'm very much inspired. Uh, and uh, I really appreciate Kuego uh, Pano Pastor G. What's your diet like? My diet, in my diet, in my diet, uh -huh. uh, uh, within the next uh, for the next three weeks, I think starting Monday, I'm going on a kamakaze diet mm -hmm. where I'm gonna be eating between 800 calories to a thousand calories, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, I won't be eating after 6 p.m. The last three weeks, I've been trying to get my body to start losing weight again, yes, because yes. sometimes you plateau, the mm -hmm. body gets used to the oh, food yeah. you're eating, yeah, yeah. So, I've just been eating anything but in moderation, mm, but normally it's vegetables and protein. Mm -hmm. A lot of protein. I, I I got a question. Someone was number uh, see a letter. Ajiti, have you always been like this? Uh, or zaga so we amato kura. Kuita ze kukura. Yes. Kufuta. Mm -hmm. Kufuta. Ndagatang. I was always. I've always been chubby. Yeah. Like from form one, mm -hmm. especially form one, form two, form mm -hmm. three, mm -hmm. form four. But more so when I started working. Nani mariangu, nani bai. Magu jika big. Magu jika big. Tell you, I'm a pay low bills. Oh yeah, oh yeah, basa. And my wife, I am a pie. I've read so much. 
yeah. a pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Waiting on my pie, marine <laughs> donut, tichi. So, you know, you know, you become what you eat. So mm-hmm, for me, mm-hmm. it had to do with a lot of habits. Yeah. Bad habits. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we can excuse that. We can give all sorts of excuses. Hey, mm-hmm. People are big born. Yeah, hey. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you have to make a decision. Diet, losing weight is 80% mm-hmm. diet, 20% exercise. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, uh, it, it had to do with my eating, mm-hmm. my, my just my lifestyle, all these years, all these past years. Mm-hmm. So the light had to go on in 2021. Mm-hmm. Uh, the more information I got, the more I learned that if I l- eat too much carbohydrates, mm-hmm. if I eat a lot of things with glucose mm-hmm. or sugar, they will keep my insulin levels high, and mm-hmm. as a result, I won't lose weight oh and yeah. I will store fat mm-hmm. instead. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you have to. L- so for me. So I've not be always been like this, but it, I, I, there was a time, especially early 90s up to uh, two years ago. Yeah. It was because of the eating. So how can people get in, ta- uh, get in touch with you, uh, Pastor G? My social media handles, uh, Pastor G Official Zim. Please follow me on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Like my page, Pastor G with a single G. Mm-hmm. Uh, on on uh, yeah, And it's called Pastor G Official Zim. Yeah. My YouTube is Pastor G Official Zim. Instagram is Pastor G Official Zim. You know, follow me on all those platforms. Mm-hmm. You can also send me WhatsApp on plus 263-772-3029. WhatsApp only. Please do not... Mm-hmm. Call, do not <laughs> yeah. do not do not do anything of that nature. Yeah, yeah, of that nature. Do not do not send me <laughs> photos of yourself. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> naked. Yeah. Okay, Pastor G, thank you so much. Uh Pastor G, but about in Zgira Abu Zimbabwe. Uh so Tinagua Tinders Guru. So next week is gonna be a good one as well. We've got um uh Carl Joshua Nube next week. So yeah, guys, we get maga zira boz yeah in Babu and Richard Rich and Babu Zang. Yeah. You can follow me on Instagram at DJ Ola7, Facebook page DJ Ola7 Star FM, and also, of course, my YouTube channel at DJ Ola7. Don't forget to subscribe. Kwanas. Big shout to a lot five Mike, uh, a lot five Mushunje, uh, the guy behind the cameras, and Nyingatrai Dingana, the dimple lady. Uh, that's uh, our producer. Kwanas, bye bye.